the native of St. Kitts and Nevis. Give it up for Jalaiki. All right. All you guys are winners, amen? All right, well, I'm not in church, so I'm not going to be saying too much amen, amen? <laughs> All right, so how many of you are here to be successful? Put your hand up. Yes, that's the reason why you're here. You're here because you want to be successful. I've never met anyone who said that they want to be a tremendous failure. Anybody here to fail? No, you're here to be successful, okay? And I want to take a few minutes, you know, of your time and talk to you about success. Everybody say success. Success. Say, so I was born to win. I was born to win. That's it. So we're going to talk about success, and I'm going to share with you quickly about the promises and the process of success. Because how many of you know that success has two sides? It has a, a process side, and it has a promise side. And if you do the process right, guess what? Miraculously, the promise is yours. Okay? But let's talk about success a bit. Um, if I was to go around this room really quickly, and you were supposed to give me an idea of what success is. Can I take about three people? What is success to you? I'm just going to pick my name. What is success? That's anything that comes to mind. Well, just achieving your goal. Achieving your goal, wonderful. What is success to you? Passing whatever. Great. All right, so different people have different ideas of success. All right? So some people think that success is attaining a certain goal. Others think that success is acquiring wealth. Some people think that success is being successful at your relationship, your marriage. Other people have success to be being successful at your academics. All right? So we have different perspectives of success. So which means that success is not something absolute. It's not an absolute idea, but it's really relative. It's according to what you want, all right? So let's look at this. So let me give you some definition of success. If you're writing, write this down. Success is a favorable and prosperous termination of attempts and endeavors. Look at that. It's a, a termination of attempts and endeavors. So in other words, success is the removal of attempts because you have arrived at a certain goal. But I, I struggle with that definition. You know why? Because uh, it means that, that is telling me that success is a destination and a goal, and once you attain it, then that's it. But how many of you know that when you reach to success, the hardest place to maintain is being successful? It's the easiest place to go, but the hardest place to maintain. They asked Tyler Perry one time, you know, they say, after you get all of this success, what next? He said, guess what? Trying to not fall out of the air. <laughs> because when you get up, it's very, very difficult to maintain that success. So you, this is something you've got to really think about. So another definition of success, write this down. So it says, success is the attainment of wealth, position, and honors. This is why we define ourselves by what we do and what we have. How many of you know that? Especially men. Men define themselves about what they have. If you listen to a conversation with a man and then you listen to a conversation with, with, with women, it's totally different. Women talk about here and stuff like that. And nails and nails. Men talk about, you know, what car you drive, what job you have. So we define ourselves by our success. But I want to give you something very interesting. Success is found in failure. Wow. Yeah. A bust of bubble tonight. Mm -hmm. Success is found in failure because I always tell my son this. I tell him, you cannot succeed until you fail, and you cannot fail until you try. Wow. The other time I took him on the basketball court. You want to hear this? I took him on the basketball court and I was saying, okay, Joy, let's go. Let's shoot some shots. And he was shooting and he was getting discouraged. But he noticed a pattern. He noticed after five shots, he get one in the ring. He noticed after another five, he get two in the ring. He noticed after another five, he get three in the ring. What was happening? It was a pattern. But he had to get up and try. And sometimes that's us. We are afraid to try. But you gotta try and you gotta fail. Thomas Edison. They said, what? He tried what? How many times? A hundred times? Yeah, a hundred times before he got to achieve making the light bulb. So you gotta fail forward. Everybody said fail forward. Fail forward. Fail forward. 
If life knocks you down, guess what? Make sure you land on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. Mm -hmm. It's all about where your vision is. I'm a testimony of that. I've failed many times. I've messed up many times. But guess what? You know what happened? I never stay down. I always get back up. I always brush myself off. And you gotta believe. Listen, your inner conversation, what you think about yourself, is more important than what anybody thinks about you. You become dangerous. Yep. And if, if listen, if failure is not a problem, you know what happened? You become dangerous because many of these successful people who we call a success, guess what? They fail many times. You'll be amazed to know how many times they fail to be a success. So everybody say fail forward. So I'm gonna say something, but I'm a Christian, but I'm gonna shake, I'm gonna say right now. You need some shit in your life. Okay. Alright. I'm not swearing, I'm saying you need some shit in your life. What am I talking about? What do they put by a tree root in order for it to grow? What is fertilizer? You need some shit in your life. <laughs> you need some fertilizer in order to grow. Come on, talk to me. And you need failure in order to take yourself to the next level. You know what? My boss always tells me this. He said, James, I had an Indian boss, so you know. He said, James, if you, if you, if you win, you become a leader. But if you fail, guide others. If you win, you become a leader. But if you fail, guide others. What is he trying to say? Some of the people who are leading us in life are people who have failed. And sometimes we don't know how to embrace failure. A lot of us teach our kids how to be successful. And guess what? You have not teach them how to embrace failure. So I want you as you go on this journey to guess what? You, you might fail sometimes. Talk to me. So everybody say fail forward. Fail forward. Okay, so if you're really serious about success. Anybody serious about success? Yeah. Come on, if you're really serious about success, raise your hand. You're really serious about being successful? But guess what? You need a healthy perspective of failure. Failure has to become your friend, not your enemy. You cannot be afraid of failure. You have to embrace it as a friend. Because guess what? You cannot get it, success without the failure. Talk to me. And I'm going to give you my testimony at the end because I just feel impressed to do this. If you're really serious about success, guess what? Use all the time you have failed to leverage for success. A lot has happened in my life. I'm not the man that standing before you. I'm, I'm, I'm married, I have three kids, I've completed a degree, I've written a book, I've had certificates, but it didn't start off like that with me. I've had tremendous failures. But guess what? I had to leverage my failures for my success. What am I talking about? Most of the things that I've failed at, I've placed in my book. The reason why I end up writing a book because I failed. <laughs> so I'm not going to let those failures go to waste. I'm going to use them to my advantage. Come on, am I talking to people tonight? So listen to this. I want to talk to you about the process and quickly I'm going to talk about the promise. Are you ready? The process of success. Everybody say process. Process. Everybody say process. Process. So if your goal is to become a doctor, your goal is to become a lawyer, guess what? <laughs> Every stage of that is a success. Do you know there are some doctors who started at night classes? Yes. We just celebrated a new prime minister, the youngest prime minister, the fourth prime minister, and the youngest. And his journey didn't start there. I understand that he started as a medical doctor and he went through the processes, but guess what? Every stage of his process was a success. His destination is not the success. So if you're sitting in this room right now and you have discovered what you want to do, what you really want to do, guess what? You have begun the journey of being successful. When you think about the rules, when you picture rules, every stage of the life of the rules is a success. Am I making sense? So greatness is what happens daily. Say that after me. Greatness is what happens daily. Greatness don't happen in a day, but in what happens daily. It's what you do daily that counts. And many people, we consider success as having on their journey for a very long time. Okay, great. Let me move to this here. So we talk about the promise. Let's talk about the promise. The promise is the miracle. Everybody said the miracle. The miracle. If you know you plant a seed, and I'm going to wrap things up right now. If you plant a seed and you water it, 
Guess what? You know you can't let that seed come up out of the ground. Somebody else is responsible for that. You know who is responsible for that? The Creator. So he said, one plant, one water, but God gives the increase. So what am I trying to say? If you do the planting, you do the watering, guess what the miracle would happen? Success is automatic. The promise will come. So never receive rewards. So here's where I want you to write, because I'm going to give you some life principles. Are you ready for this? Write this down. Never receive rewards for something you never work for. Hmm. Let me say that again. Never receive the reward for something you never work for. Now, I'm going to wrap this up with my testimony because I really want to just end with this. So, I went to university. I just completed my bachelor's degree in 2019. And I went to university. But guess what? I waste a lot of time in school. So at my secondary um, time of learning, I didn't do much. You know, not that I wasn't smart, but I wasn't paying attention too much. And you know what happened? I missed out on a lot of foundation. So when I went to university, I struggled. I actually weep one time coming home on the subway. I broke down in tears. You know why I broke down in tears? Because guess what? I started 